All right. While pursuing Reddit yesterday, someone mentioned that there are strange things afoot at the sludge hole. So I wanted to investigate, and this is what I found. Like, comment, subscribe, let's get into it. If you're wondering what the sludge hole is, it's not the end result of drinking all day Saturday and then going to Taco Bell at 2.30 in the morning. That's not it. That's something totally, di that's a different sludge hole. The sludge hole I'm referring to was an encampment owned by the Cutthroats. It also has water purifiers that they use to trade purified water for caps. Raiders making an honest living. That's, that's a mystery in itself. Why would they do that? But the mystery of why these raiders went legit is a different video, but probably not. The mystery we're exploring is this mannequin. It's just standing in front of the pond holding a skull. But a strange thing happens when you take said skull. What was that? Who falls like that? Nobody falls like that. Now, if you follow the mannequin into the water after its slow descent, you'll find the rest of the skeleton. Now, searching around this area reveals absolutely nothing about this. <laughs> I can't find anything online either. There are two notes here, and one of them talks about uh, rumors of another spring, and if true, they'll take it for themselves. Now, that note, was it written after they had this spring? I'm guessing because they said another spring. So they have this spring, and there's another spring that could be competition, and they don't want that. So they'll go and take it. Which brings up something else. Did the skeleton in the water own this spring and all the water purifiers before. And now we're just seeing, I don't know, the ghost. The ghost is trapped in a mannequin and he slowly falls into the water to reveal his skeletal remains. Sure, why not? But yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. There's nothing more here. And there's some rad toads. But the whole slow falling mannequin bugs me. When I first read it on Reddit, I thought, ah, it's a glitch or a bug, but no, it's not. It happens every single time. I don't have video of it, but I went back uh, this morning and the skull wasn't there. The mannequin was though. So I ran into it and it didn't move, which I thought was weird because usually you can knock things over because Bethesda physics, or physics in general, but <laughs> I shot it, its head fell off, and then the body did slowly descend into the water. So it's not a glitch or a bug, it's something somebody at Bethesda was probably like, people are going to make videos about this and theorize what it is, and then we'll just sit back and laugh at them, because it means absolutely nothing. And here I am on a Sunday making a video about a physics defying mannequin that means absolutely nothing. I gotta go play the Mothman Equinox now. Do something else productive, maybe. Probably not, though. I thank you for watching. If you like this video, throw it a like. Any questions, concerns, complaints, praise, or just general agitation, put it in the comments section below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. Remember, be safe out there, and as always, a good day.